here. We're yelling in threats. Anybody like yelling. that here? Who's a yeller? Come on. Anybody been yelled at? Who got the remote control? been threatened. We got two. We got two. Come on, sis. Let me hear from you. Come on. What's your name? Karen. Karen? Tyra. 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 What's up, Tyra? A lot of this stuff is like, isn't this also how we treat each other? Yes. Verbal abuse. Because a lot of this stuff sounds like things that like we could probably do in like on our unit. Oh, on your unit. Oh, wait a minute, y'all respect, y'all, come on. Yelling, you know, and like, raising my voice, if I don't feel heard, or if uh, I feel insulted, mm -hmm. or if I feel like somebody's attacking me, you know, I'll raise my voice and start saying stuff uh, that I, I'm not happy I said. Mm -hmm. Right, and you can apply in everyday life, too. Uh, hey, Tara, guess what? I'm glad you said that, because... How you treat people platonically, mm -hmm. those are the same skill sets you use in a relationship. Mm -hmm. right. The same skill sets. Mm -hmm. So they say, don't raise your voice, raise the level of your argument. Because mm -hmm. you hollering, that don't mean somebody can hear you. True. All they hear is the wah, 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 mm -hmm. wah, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you can raise the level of what you're talking about, so people can communicate, because communication is the key. You have to be able to communicate. Sometimes you have to walk away from people before you approach them again. How much time you have clean? Uh, a little over 90. All right. All right. Yeah. Come on. Name. What's your name? Erica. Hey, Erica. Erica. Um, I'm a, I'm a yeller. I'm always loud. And especially, like, you get to call my errors, I threaten all men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a hitter, too. I hit. No, not always. I'm a hitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hitter. 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 i am a hitter i am a you see our hand motion? That's, that's true love. That's true love. She wouldn't have smacked me down the steps if she ain't love me. <laughs> How much time you got clean? All right, go. Huh? Four Boy. months, yo. Four months. Yes, hey. I had a remote control. Don't mess with her. Hey. Next one. <laughs> Manipulation. Okay. With threats or self-injury or suicide. Oh, I, I like this myself. one. Ooh. I like this one. If you leave me. I'm going to kill myself. Yes. Oh, I see it. <laughs> yes. Come on. Let's go. Let's get some feedback on that one. Come on. Can it be like about, like, not about relationships? Yeah, that's what we talking about, relationships. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, yeah, like, um, my name's Heather, I'm an editor. Hey, hey Heather. Heather. Um, I used to manipulate my wife to, like, give me money for drugs and shit. Mm-hmm. How you used to do it? Did she find out about that eventually? She, she, she you ain't come back with them sneakers. Now, so. Oh. She stopped giving you money? No. Oh, okay. She was an enabler. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You still married? Yeah, but I'm not weird anymore. Okay. All right. How you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Right? Thanks for asking. How much time you have clean? All right. God bless you. Good job, baby. Come on. Guess what, guys? We was doing a group one time. I forget where it was tonight, but it was like a mental health facility. Yeah. Yeah. But the guy said he was going to kill his. He told his lady, I'm going to kill myself because you leaving me. Uh -huh. So he went and got everything together and stuff. He got a shotgun. Uh -huh. oh. Called at 12 o'clock. Uh -huh. He said he wanted to scar her. So if she ever wanted to love somebody again, she couldn't. And he was saying all this, and then on the phone, she was snoring. Oh. <laughs> so she went to sleep. True story. So he had the John shotgun cop, and he uncocked that John, and he thought to himself, I'm just going to kill myself somebody who's falling asleep, uh -huh. and I'm trying to tell him about my feelings. Now, you he, know? he was about to kill himself. He was about to kill himself. But she, she was asleep. <laughs> and, she fell, and she fell asleep. Yeah. So uh, what I'm trying to tell you is don't make... Permanent decisions off temporary emotions. Who little fatal attraction? Glenn, Glenn Close, he played that part. Fatal attraction. He only meant the wettest feet. Remember, he was having, he was staying for the whole weekend, but he had to leave. He had hair work to do, and and she said, "Okay, you leaving?" And she started cutting herself. Right. And she cut her both her wrists, and she went to hug him, and all his blood just started pouring out. And he wound up staying the night over manipulation, cutting herself, injuring herself to keep him there. Mm. And his wife wound up killing her. Because mm. she killed the bunny. 
<laughs> no, but I'm just saying like that. Yeah. And then, you know, when, when you marry, you don't open up doors to um, significant others because all hell breaks loose. How about the guy? What's the guy? Steve McNair. Who remember mm. him? <laughs> Steve McNair, the football player. Mm. The, um, the, uh, I just watched the Yeah, his mistress yep. killed him and, and, and killed herself. How about um uh, what's the guy um uh, what's the girl name? Andy Fisher. Yeah. Yeah. Remember her? Oh, yeah. Jealousy, rage, mm-hmm. yo, a, a, a deep desire, a wanting, <laughs> had a gun. Uh, she rung the doorbell and shot Joey Butterfuco's um wife. Right. Yes. How about how about Lorraine Bobbitt? Oh shit. She's the she hero. Right. <laughs> she chopped the listen. She was she was um, from a third world country. Her her husband was a marine. And he get drunk and rape her. And she said, not tonight, goddammit. I think he raped her and she, he, she had enough. He went to sleep. Why would you do that? You're abusive and you go to sleep? <laughs> he go to sleep, she get a knife, chop his penis off. She get the car keys, got his penis in one hand and, his, and the keys in my hand. She drive to her girlfriend's house. She said, what the hell you do? She leave out of there out of excitement. She throw his penis out the window. He landed in some snow. <laughs> well, he was lucky. It's, 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 the, the cops come. The cops come <laughs> and find his penis 30 yards away from 7-Eleven. I got it. They, said, got it. They, put his penis, they put his penis on ice. <laughs> sold it back on. And he did five porno movies. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> called Franken Bobby. <laughs> But the decapitated penis, that's real. Listen, I'm telling you, relationships, people are crazy. People are crazy. Anybody hear that? Who here don't want to be alone? Watch that. Quiet people in here, watch them. Those who always seek attention, watch them. Those who always running for themselves and talk about anybody else, watch them. Those who don't even know your last name, but they want to marry you, watch them. <laughs> Yo, yo, one who talk clean but living dirty. Watch them. That's real, real flags. I'm telling you. I love the way you eat the pizza. Let's get married. <laughs> Watch them for real. That's real right there, y'all. I'm telling you. Sometimes you, yo, it's, e- it's easy to get with, but it's hard to get out. Oh, yeah. Hard to get out. I thank God I don't got no sisters. Cause I know I'd be dead. As a girl went to jail, a guy went to jail, did 12 years in prison because he whipped his girl, his sister, boyfriend's ass. And when when he come home from jail, guess who his sister whipped? Yeah, true story. True story. That's big. It was some ups and downs. <laughs> yeah, you ever see a couple out there fighting and you try to save the day, try to help the girl? And, and she they jump, jump on y'all. Get your hands off my husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, sometimes it's best money. not to involve yourself with other people's what? Yeah. Business. That's real right there. All right, let's, let's keep it moving. Right here. Hey, how about overpowering? Overpowering. Always claiming to be right. Yeah. Even if they're wrong, they could have been right. Always right. Always arguing. Even when they like, right, when they wrong, they even right. Anybody, anybody be like that? Who like that in here? Nobody. Seen Y'all ain't seen nobody like that. Nobody telling on themselves. I mean, I'm a, I think I'm a, if I believe that I'm right, I'll go to the better ends of the world to like tell you that I'm right if I think I'm right. Okay. Um, even if like you, you're trying to tell me that I'm wrong, like and if I think I'm right, I'm right. You know, gonna, okay. Like, How many women here don't know how to shut up? <laughs> How many women mouth wows get you in trouble? Uh, I don't care if this is your second strike. I'm going to call the police anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, I know y'all don't have your phones. I know y'all don't have your phones. Uh-huh. But check it out. Listen, it was an Amber Alert a couple of days ago. And an Amber Alert, they didn't say what child was a boy or girl. They didn't say the gender. But come to find out, I found out my lady's daughter told me this yesterday. The Amber Alert, this dude killed the, his baby mom. And he killed the baby mom's mother. And he went and got and his mother got him a hotel room. Yeah. Yes. And I saw him. I saw him in handcuff on the news, but I didn't know all the details of the story. The am, the am alert is real right there. Yes. That's where it all went down. Yeah. Relationships, y'all, for real. If you know, listen, that's why it's best. To, the best relationship is right now with who? Yourself. Hey, next one right here. Paralyzing. By threatening to report you as an unfit parent. Paralyzing. I'm going to call DHS. Mm -hmm. Anybody anybody like that? Your electricity on illegal. 
<laughs> your gas is in your child's name. Anybody? Oh, no. Hey, who had, who had family members take care of your children? And when you was ready to get your kids back, they wouldn't give them back to you. You had to fight to get your own kids back. All right, you're not ready. They're going to tell you you're not ready. A lot of times they just want to get that in income tax money. Right. Who, and who ain't use their kids as spies? Anybody use their kids as spies? Who was at daddy's house last night? <laughs> really? Right beside Stephanie. Which, which, what's your name? Come on. Yeah, what's up? What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. What's up? Yeah, your hand up. What's up? Oh, about my kids spying? The yeah. kids be doing the spying? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ask God. Okay. Give me right. some milk. I, hey, have you been in any of those scenarios we've been talking about, false relationships? Yeah. Yeah. Like which one? Which one stand out the most to you? Um. Hmm. The overpowering, the controlling, the manipulation. Probably the the, uh, the manipulation. Like what? Like how? Um. I would just manipulate anything. No matter how I could, it, it, it didn't matter. I would ma manipulate whatever I could to get my way, mm -hmm. uh, or get the amount of money that I wanted to get. High. It, just anything, anything and everything. Big sneak, big mm -hmm. liar with my kid's mom. You still anything like that? Get high. You still like that? No. Well, I know you're sober now, but you know, yeah, I'm telling. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm Those behaviors. So you do? You still got them? I mean, I'm working on them. Very good. I'm going to sign you clean, bro. 45. 45. God bless. All right, verbal abuse, verbal abuse. Hey, how about this right here, y'all? Silencing. Silence is abuse. Silence is abuse. With constant interruptions or by changing topics. Silence. Who like the cold shoulder? Hey, we got a hand. <laughs> I like your hair. What color is that? That's, that's sherbet. Okay. All right. Come on. Yeah, that's silent treatment. That's the worst. I don't like that either. Say something. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> all right. Okay. I, um, what, what's your name? Kristen. Kristen. Okay. All right. How you doing? All right. I'm gonna sign you clean. Hey. All right. God bless. Two weeks off of methadone. Whoa. That's what we talking about. Congratulations. All right. The silence. Silence of the lambs. Hey, telling half truths. Telling half truths. Anybody do that? I don't know why they're chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> telling half truths. You got a hand right here. What's your name? Joey. Jo Joey? Joey. Okay, how you, Joanne? I'm not Joanne, it's Joey. Joey, I'm sorry. Joey. <laughs> okay, Joey. I'm sorry. Come on, Joey. What's up? Jody. 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 Joni, okay, Joni, okay. Uh huh. And it's just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Like I'll be like, well, I'm going to go get sneakers, and then sneaker makes good attention, but I'm just going to buy sneakers. But really, I'm going there to cop. Okay, all right. How, how did it play out later, though? Did they find out the other part that you refused yeah, to talk I'm about? Back and I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With my face, like, just, yeah. All right. So are you practicing just telling all, telling the truth and nothing but the truth? Yeah. All right, very good. I'm going to sign you up clean. I'm going to sign you. Hey, all right. God bless you. All right, hey. Rob was talking about being a victim. We talking about verbal abuse, and that could cause a lot of fear. Who's afraid of what? Abandonment issues. <clears throat> abandonment issues. Anybody afraid of abandonment issues? Why? Come on. Judge. How you doing, Judge? Hey. hey. What's up? Um, I'm afraid of abandonment issues because I feel like everybody that's entered my life that I love has abandoned me, has walked out on me. Mm. Everybody, my mom, my dad, my siblings, my ex-boyfriend, um, everybody besides my kids walked out on me and abandoned me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aww, yeah. All That's right. what I'm used to. That's what you're used to? Yeah. Okay. How'd that make you feel? It breaks my heart mm -hmm. because it, my 
most of the time it's because of drugs. And it breaks my heart because I told always told myself I'm not going to be a victim of it because my mom and dad were. And I ended up a victim of it too. Mm. How you dealing with it? How you cope? I'm here. Huh? Here? I'm here. Very good. I'm going to sign me up clean. Three months. Three months. Hey, Gab.